So what you're telling me is that you're reaching out to people on LinkedIn. You're sending them connection request message. You're just not getting anybody to respond to you, right? No one, no response at all. <laughs> Listen, you got to fix that. I got three ideas I'm going to give you. Just three ideas. The first one is, actually, you got to listen to the episode to get those ideas. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let me tell you what those ideas are. All right. So you got to do. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald C. Kelly. The Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. On this episode today, we're going to talk to you about your engagement, baby. We're going to talk to you specifically about getting responses from your podcast, but not from your podcast, from your LinkedIn guests. I'm talking on a podcast. You may not have a podcast. If you do, you should definitely connect with me. But listen, we're going to talk to you how you can make sure you get LinkedIn requests, um, connection, LinkedIn responses. It's a common question that I get from folks who sign up for our LinkedIn prospecting course. It's a prevalent challenge that we see in the sales industry where folks are trying to take advantage of LinkedIn. So here's what I'll tell you. The three things that I want to give you, I wrote some notes down that I want to share. The first one is that if this is your first time listening to this podcast, go ahead and subscribe and tell somebody else about it. Uh, But seriously, the first one, are they even home? What I mean by this is that because you go on LinkedIn and you see someone doesn't necessarily mean they're active on LinkedIn. It doesn't show you on LinkedIn like saying, well, this person is 75% active and they're you know, chilling there all the time. However, what you can find out, though, is if this person has posted recently on a platform and LinkedIn give you that information with Sales Navigator. But let's say you don't have Sales Navigator. You can go ahead and look at that person's profile. Then you go over, go down, you see activities. You click on activities and then you'll see that they have posts or comments or whatnot. You want to look and see if they've posted. And then obviously, if this person is engaging on the platform, that's probably somebody you should be ring, um, connecting with. The majority of the time when people are not responding or one of the major reasons, I wouldn't say the majority, number two is probably going to be one of the majority reasons. But one of the main reasons is the simple fact that they're not even there. They're not even coming in on the platform. They're not spending time there. So even though you send these elaborate, wonderful messages that are just so personalized, listen, bro, ain't much coming on LinkedIn. So he ain't going, he ain't getting it. So you got to make sure you find people who are actually on the platform. Listen to my past episode. It was episode number 143, I believe, which talks a little bit about this and how you can find people who are engaging. Number two, this is where I wanted, this is where I probably find the biggest issue is that most people, when they connect with somebody on LinkedIn, they spam them. They try to send them a quick message to tell, tell them about their services. You got to be patient. Like I, I know it sounds crazy, but you're farming here when it comes to LinkedIn. You're not going in there right away and just trying to reap up everything. You got to make sure you connect and start engaging. Once you connect and start engaging, conversation starts. Conversation leads to appointments. Appointments lead to opportunities. Opportunities lead to closed deals. Just straight up all the time it works. So the first thing I want you to do is to focus on things that matter to that individual. So if I was on LinkedIn and you're trying to get a hold of me, the easiest thing you can do and trying to find a way to connect with me, and here I am, I'm going to probably get like 10,000 different messages now, but go and look at some of the things that I'm posting and see what what are some of the trends of those things that I'm posting. Donald's posting a lot about X, Y, and Z. Perhaps that's something that he, you know, I can start a conversation with. It's not necessarily right now, look for something to pitch me on. It's just start a conversation. Donald saw that you're posting a little bit more on LinkedIn about LinkedIn. Are you by chance, um, is that something that's required as an influencer? Like, and I'll start a conversation with you. I'll be like, no, that's not at all. But we will start a conversation. That is critical for you. It's something that's important to me, something that matters to me or whatnot. Maybe you can go back and see some things we're posting about like outreach. Donald, see that you're, you gave a lot of tips about outreach. What do you do in your, do you have a, a set outreach uh, preference that you utilize? I'll respond to that all day, every day. But you're getting that response. And then you, maybe you can tell me a little bit later about your CRM, but don't try that right now. Figure out this and then figure out a way you can weave that in when you find a relevant challenge. But don't go and do that to me. Now, the next thing I want you to talk about, look at, is if they're not posting, look at things they're liking on LinkedIn. Same area on our activities, see what they're liking. Somebody may be liking a lot about a conference that's coming up, or maybe they're liking posts about some, uh, you know, an industry topic. If it's a trend like that, somebody you should be able to find some kind of a commonality with and start a conversation with around that particular topic. Dave, I saw that you're going to uh, M- X- M- MXZ3 conference. <laughs> um, is that is, is that some is it this year, your first year going to that? Is it worth going to it? Our company is looking into more events this year. I'm going to start a conversation. 
um, anything that you're sharing. But the, those that's number two. And the, number three, the biggest one that I would tell you is that connect with other people in their company. When people see that you're connected with other individuals in their organization, it increases the odds of that person connecting back with you because they say you're not a stranger anymore. You at least know Mary from accounting. So therefore, connect with them. So even if they're not your ICP, I tell you, you need to connect with your ICP. Are there others in that organization that could be influential towards the deal? If I'm selling something to you know, a, a accounting software, maybe I'm going to connect with people that are going to obviously be my ICP in that organization. And are there any influences that could be in the organization that I can connect with or in that department? Simple stuff, right? But when you connect with these people, opportunity starts to happen where you start to have more conversation. And a final bonus one that I'll tell you is um, offer personalized message. Um, I just can't tell you how much this is, th this matters. Like when you send, even if you send an email, don't send an email like an email about your product or service. Just offer a personalized message, something that you can tie back, that I can look back on as a individual and say, man, that, you know, hit, struck a nerve. I, I'm going to respond to that person. And a personalized message, again, you're not going to necessarily talk about maybe something really personal to the individual, but like their kids or, or whatnot. But perhaps it's going to be something like, um, you know, Donald saw that your, you know, your post about X, Y, and Z um, conference, or saw your post about this event, you know, charities are important to me. I, I support X, Y, Z and the Boys and Girls Club. Um, you know, out of curiosity, what made you pick that particular charity? But it's something that they talked about or shared about, and you just make it personal. But that's just a little bonus tip. It's something that's given. Hopefully you got that. Listen, I went over my time. I'm giving so much in these because I just love them. Um, as always, I want you to thrive and succeed. Like I want to elevate that the game of sales professional. I want you to be able to just win. I don't want people to be able to reach. Like when you reach out to people that they're actually engaged and excited to talk to you because you bring so much value. That's our vision for the sales career. Listen, as always, I want you to three to five exit sales pipeline with those quality opportunities. I want you to close twice as many deals. I want you to raise your level of thinking. I want you to go out, do big things. I want you to make some money in the process as well. Be sure to check out our LinkedIn prospecting course. Find details down below. Check out my upcoming event where we're doing a free town hall and I'm giving some advice and some ideas. Pick a time that works best for you. I'd love to see you. See you on the next one.